as you guys may know, we are engineer scientists. And for those that know us from like years ago, or like just last time, this was us, right? So we had recently we had like a rebranding campaign, uh, changing barcode board to now uh, our new logo that we affectionately call Quackers. So um, if you guys don't know the old logo, you can actually scan the barcode. It actually resolves to something. I'm not gonna uh, ruin the surprise for you guys. You guys can try to scan this when you guys are free. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll like stay here for five seconds so that you, can, you guys can snap a photo and scan it uh, when you are free. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, that's five seconds. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so we rebranded from from barcode Bob to now uh, NUS uh, Quacker. So the duck and the logo is called Quackers. And you can refer to us as NUS, oh, no, NUS Quackers. Yeah. And if you want to know more about why we rebranded and the motivation behind um, why we rebranded and how we came up with this logo, you can visit this website. Um, there's a blog post uh, written about our whole rebranding campaign. And this logo is also pretty special because it's designed by one of our own core team members, which is here with us today, um, Richard. So, yeah, that's the man, yeah. So, if you like Quackers, it's all thanks to him. And we have shirts as well, like some of you guys have come for SLF and gotten the shirts. These are our new shirts for our rebranding campaign. Uh, you have the huge Quackers logo in front, and at the back, um, there's like a cute round up. So uh, we'll be giving out these shirts like in the future in our events. So do come down and you might just grab uh, yourself a new shirt. Okay. Now, so the whole entire purpose of NS Hackers, our whole mission, is to promote hacker culture. So at this point, you guys may ask, what is the hacker culture exactly? And what exactly is hacking? Right? So uh, our common misconception that we normally hear is that hacking is something related to this. Um, there's another uh, student interest group in SOC that is more focused on offensive hacking, uh, network security, like exploits type of hacking. And we are good friends with them, we share like uh, a room with them in computing, uh, in, in commentary. But our club, we are more focused on another type of hacking, something more general. Right? So the hacking culture that we're trying to align our club, uh, ourselves with is this spirit of trying to come up with creative and innovative solutions overcome like limitations of current systems. And basically at its core, you're trying to do things that were never meant to be done in a certain way. And a good example of this is something like, the, uh, something like that. So this is an uh, example of a hack by, done by a group of hackers at MIT, where what they did was they took a police car, police car and put it on top of the Greek dome in MIT. So you may be wondering like, um, how did they do it and the whole point behind this kind of stance is to show that someone is thinking creatively and innovatively about this kind of things and how did they actually manage to put a damn police car on top of the building. Right. Another example would be something like this where they put like a Captain America shoe on the whole loom. So if you're interested, you guys can check out uh, uh, some of the other hacks at hacks.mit.eu but we thought that this sort of encapsulates what we're trying to promote and it summarizes the hacker spirit and hacker culture really well. So now the question is, why should you hack? And I'm going to offer two very simple reasons. The first is because you can, and because it's really damn fun, right? Um, so an example is uh, you guys may know this guy, right? The creator of Linux. Uh, he started Linux as just a hobby. He said it won't be big, and it's not going to be as professional as uh, GNU. But look at what you became now, right? And yeah, so this is a good example. And here's also a bonus picture of Linus that I have to censor for a good reason. Yeah, so if you know, you know. Next, uh, another good example would be something closer to home. Um, so this is a bank which uh, created MS Watts. Like all of you guys should know what MS Watts is. And he started uh, off with MS Watts as a project to solve the pain points that, were, that he was facing with the time table builder uh, in the past. So he was really trying to just solve something that he was really frustrated with, with a new product, and he just built something uh, just to solve, that, solve his own like, frustration. So this is a really good example of the hacker spirit we're trying to promote. And right now, it became like 
uh, like a de facto uh, timetable um, planner that all annual students, all exchange students that come to NUS uses. Another good example is I think this, uh, I don't think you guys may know like the freshies or exchange students. So before Canvas, we have another LMS called uh, Luminous. And uh, the reason why it's called Luminous is that you can split the F in the Luminous and you'll get what I'm talking about. Right? Uh, so the thing is, when Luminous started off, it was very buggy, it was very clunky, things were slow. And this guy basically just wrote an Elixir um, repo to basically solve all the pain points that he has experienced with the Luminous platform. So this is another good example of what we mean by hacker culture, hacker script. Yeah. So this brings us to our new tagline. Um, what it says is you can just you should just build anything and just build something. So you find a problem you want to solve and just get started with building. So that's our tagline that uh, we went with. Now, um, now it's time to go through like some of the events that we're offering this semester and this academic year. So for events, we have talks, we have workshops. Hacker is our flagship hackathon that happens every January. And we have other initiatives and projects as well. So Project Mentor and Project Intern, they will go more into detail. So for the first uh, event, Friday Hacks, to sum it all up, it's just a uh, talk that we invite really good speakers now to talk about what they're excited about and things they are working on right now. So in the past, uh, we have invited some cool speakers. So last year, we managed to invite Evan Yu, the creator of UJS, and also V, to come down to share about his open source journey with a bunch of um, students like you guys. Also, another example is we invited down the creator of the LC Media Player, the code that you see on your Windows application, down to um, give a talk as well. Yet another, another example, would be a collaboration that we did with Ray Hats, where we invited down Jeff Moss, the founder of DevCon, to give a talk to um, people here in the US. So we do collaborate with Ray Hats, although we are not, we don't really do the same kind of hacking that they do, but they're really great friends of ours. <laughs> yeah. So the point is that there are cool people that want to come out and give a talk to uh, our community. So um, take this chance to really just come out and get inspired by what they're trying to build what they have been doing and try to apply it to your own like, personal life or your own personal preference. So uh, this is what we always say. For all our events, as long as you see the duck like, towards the NUS hackers, there will always be pizza. That's just our thing. So we always say, like, come for the pizza and stay for the inspiration. And so Friday Hacks will happen every week uh, on Fridays, as the name suggests, at 7 p.m. But uh, we, we would do talks like a week before midterms and finals so that you guys can still study, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, ah, yes, okay. So, this are uh, uh, like a sneak peek of some of the speakers that we have, two speakers that we will have this semester. The first guy is Yodo from Grafana Labs, that he'll be talking some of the work that we've been doing in Grafana. And the second guy here is Kiran, it's one of the PhD students in NUS, which will He'll be, I think we'll be talking a little bit more about programming languages and his research in the PL field. So look out for the sign-ups for these two talks. It's going to come in the next few weeks. So next is our first, uh, of, it's our workshop series called Hacker School. So uh, Hacker School is, uh, to sum it all up, it's an introductory workshop series that we do for people that are trying to get started with hacking or just trying to pick up uh, new skills. So uh, it's body for all, and what we do, what we are doing this semester is that we have um, the, these are a few like introductory workshops we will be conducting from Unity to Spell, Next.js, Python, and the Python logo is just a replacement for machine learning and also uh, Web three. So uh, Unity, the Unity workshop would happen uh, next, uh, wait, two weeks later on the thirtieth of August, and it's a collaboration with NUS uh, Games Development Group and sign-ups will be opening soon. So this is our first workshop uh, that NUS hackers will be doing for Hacker School. And another sneak peek will be, we have something going on with uh, NUS Comics and Animation Society, better known as NUS uh, Anime Club, I guess. So do look out for this. Um, it's pretty exciting. We did the same collaboration with them uh, last semester and the turnout was really great. So do, do look out for this and everything will be in our Telegram channels, Instagram channels. 
I'm not going to say what the topic's about, but just look out for it. Okay. Now, uh, this is our second workshop series. Uh, previously, we called this Hacker Tools. Right? Uh, this sand will be rendered into a Hacker Toolbox. So the thing about this is, it's a little bit more niche and it's uh, more tool space than Hacker School. Right? So it's inspired by the thing that started at MIT called the Missing Semester. The whole point behind this missing semester is to bridge the gap between what the school doesn't teach you and what you probably should know as a developer or a hacker. So this is things like the command line, text editors, or like just features for like a version control system like it and stuff like that. So you don't really get this in school. Yeah, so this semester we'll be doing Vim, we'll be doing Git, we'll be doing shell scripting and also data. Yeah, so the first workshop for Hacker Tools, oh sorry, Hacker Toolbox will be on the 29th of August, 6 p.m. and it's going to be on shell scripting. So do, do look out for uh, this on our Telegram channel as well. Ah, so the next one. The next one is our flagship hackathon, um, the Hack and Roll. So this hackathon that we organize is a little bit special and different from the other hackathons that you may know of. Um, so other hackathons may have a team to the hackathon or like a focus area that you guys would want to build solutions or uh, products for. But for hack and roll, we do not have a team, we do not have a focus area. You can just come down and build anything you want. Like literally anything you want, from a software hack to a, like a hardware hack or anything that you want to do. Right? So in the past, uh, we have seen submissions as simple as like a telegram board, all the way up to someone that I think created a mobile carrier, like a mobile 4G carrier in, uh, in two days, in 24 hours, sorry. So this is something a little bit special about hack and roll. So it's 24 hours of fun. We usually do this in Newtown, one of the big dining halls. We invite down like 600 people to, to Newtown and we just have a great 24 hours hacking and um, there's also free food and everything. So um, it's also the largest student run hackathon in Singapore, and we will do it, we do this every January, like I mentioned before. And this are some photos from this year's um, Hack and Roll 2023. So in total, we have about 580 participants. We have uh, we have like three venues: one big dining hall and two like auxiliary venues, just because there's so many people. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through some of the photos so you guys get a sense of what Hack and Roll is like. So we have 40 organizers, that's Cordy plus some of the other volunteers that we have. Um, we invited judges down, 46 judges from industry, like companies, from our sponsor companies that, to come out and judge our events. And we also have a coffee cart, and we, <laughs> I get, there's like 1,300 cups of coffee uh, being like uh, brewed that day, brewed over the 24 hours. 600 cup noodles in two hours. So, we are serious about free food, it's legitimately free flow, just take as many you want. I'm not sure whether it's a world record, but it's pretty close, I would say. 5,893 packets of snacks. This is everything from, honestly, just everything. Yeah. And also cold drinks, 1,500 drinks. Oh, and more free food, 1,300 uh, food servings. So we get, you guys will be entitled to buffet lunches, buffet dinners, also breakfast because it's an overnight thing, right? So we are serious for free food for Hack and Roll. And we also have a Spotify playlist. Um, Devon, do you want to raise your hand? Are you here? Yeah, so he's, yeah, he, he's the guy in the photo, basically. That, that's what I wanted to say, yeah. Oh, uh, as part of Hack and Roll, we also organize fringe games in between uh, like your intense hacking for 24 hours. So games can include like Avalon, um, SO Link challenges, and really just fun stuff. Or you can win like raffle um, points to um, while playing this game where you can get like prizes at the end of the hackathon. Yeah, and oh it, like I said, pizza is really our thing. So for hack and roll, uh, because we have almost 600 uh, participants, we ordered uh, I guess about a hundred, oh, sorry not a thousand, a hundred large pizza. And then we see it's all the way as tall as Chunyu. Chunyu, do you want to say hi? <laughs> yeah. he's, he's pretty tall, he's a pretty tall guy. So you can, you can sort of see how many pizzas you order for Hack and Roll. 
and oh yeah, oh, this is just something fun. We found someone that brought the secret lab chair down to hack a uh, hacker rope. And someone also bought a protein. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you can cheat while you are in a hacker rope too. Yeah. So uh, these are just photos to kind of give you a good idea of what the vibe is at a hack and roll. It's fun, it's cool, just do anything you want and we just have a good like 24 hours together. Oh yes, uh, we also do provide, um, uh, it's not even like a sleeping arrangement, it's just mats that we put on the ground that you can sleep at. So if you're tired, um, go ahead and sleep at, sleep at the mats that we put down, I guess. Yeah, yeah okay, so um, I'm just going to go through a few examples of what projects came out of Hack and Roll. So this is one like pretty interesting one where they built like a gym in VS Code. So VS Code is like a ID a text uh, ID that uh, programmers use. So instead of lifting real weights, you use the mouse and uh, lift weights, and <laughs> you you exercise. Yeah. So it's images of something like fun from uh, fun like this, and like something more serious at the end. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Uh, so the next one is this. It's called Stupid MRT. So TLDR, it's um, instead of trying to find the shortest path from one station to another station, uh, this application. Yes. So uh, this application helps you find the longest possible path. So uh, I guess if you want to take the MRT someday, um, you can use this. Uh, this is something really cool as well. So um, this group of uh, participants created like a new programming language that is built on top of Python. So you can use like Singlish to code. So they call it SG Singlish code. Yeah, so as you can see, it's like put uh, one table, can level, and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it's really cool stuff that's going on in Hack and Roll. Uh, next one is, um, I believe it's a translation application. Uh, instead of just translating the, like, from English to Chinese or any other language, you also provide context to the translation. Right, so as you can see here, um, this English here is Japanese here, but there's a context explaining what this sentence means and how it's used in a specific context. So I thought it was pretty cool. The next thing is, uh, this is the one I was talking about, like someone built like their own wall carrier, but they didn't put any photos and stuff, but uh, all they did was, <laughs> they mentioned it's a wide area, wider than world, up to a kilometer's range and how they build it, but it actually works. So yeah, it can go for, so it ranges from projects that are really fun to things like this, I guess. So anything goes at hack and roll. We just want you guys to build something, build anything. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in some of the projects that uh, I've introduced, you can go to this thing and it just brings us to our dev post and you can see all the winners of hack and roll, all the projects that came out of hack and roll as well. Yeah, so this is something exciting. Uh, for Hacker World 2024, tentatively it's going to be held on the 20th to 21st January. And this coincides with the first week of semester two, I believe. Yeah, so do look out for this on our Telegram channels and more information will be on, on all our socials and stuff. Yeah, so those are our like main events from workshops, talks to hackathons. Um, these are some of the other initiatives that we have been working on. So uh, we are we work, uh, this semester we work together with NUS School Computing's uh, Student Life Office to organize Project Mentor. So the whole thing behind Project Mentor is that we want to help freshmen entering NUS to get like a new type of mentor to help them navigate their first freshman year. And just recently this week, um, I believe it's on Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. Um, we had our welcome tea for Project Mentor, and we managed to pair 97 mentees to a mentor. So yeah, this is something that we'll continue to expand and improve, and hopefully next year, if you guys have friends that are coming in freshman, as a freshman, then you can join, you can encourage them to join Project Mentor as well. So this is ongoing. Um, we really paired the mentors and mentees, and over the next uh, couple of uh, semesters, uh, months, sorry, they, they will just be like, uh, mentoring each other and guiding them through their freshman So another thing is Project Intern. So internships are stressful, we know that. So we started this initiative called Project Intern. Some of you guys may uh, know of this Telegram group called Project Intern with almost like uh, 4,000 people inside. 
So we do something, this is pretty similar to Project Mentor. So uh, we do panels, we do talks, and we also pair, uh, uh, let's say, someone with a mentor to guide them through the internship application journey as well. So these are some of the projects that we also do. And the next one is um, something that we revived from a um, long time ago. So this is a repository that we revived this uh, summer. It contains notes that we, notes and advices that we gather from professors, engineers, seniors, and it's targeted to like CS freshmen. So just general advice on how you should navigate your university journey and what you should read, uh, look out for and just general advice. Yeah, so you can scan the QR code, it brings you to the repo, um, star it if you want, <laughs> and yeah, so it, since you guys, most of you guys are freshmen, um, this might be inter uh, interesting to you. Cool. Yeah, so all these events that uh, I mentioned from Project Intern, Project Mentor, whatever not, it's all open to everyone. You don't have to join any of hackers to join any of these events, and all our events will have free food. So it's open to non-SOC students, it's open to non annual students, and it's also open to non-students. Uh, I'm not sure about this, but uh, it's open to everyone. Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, the money comes from uh, sponsors and partners that we work with. Yeah. Uh, NUS, uh, industry, companies, and stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so they sponsor our pizzas. Yeah, so um, so as I mentioned, all our events are free for all, but if you are interested in continuing spreading the hacker culture, the hacker spirit, we invite you guys to join uh, Core Team. So Core Team are uh, basically people here, there are some out there. So we organize the events that I've uh, gone through, and recruitment for Core Team will start uh, in week three, so two weeks time. So look out for that on uh, Telegram channels and all our socials. Great. Yeah, so this is basically a rundown of what we have to offer this semester and what we do as a club. Um, if you haven't already joined our Telegram channel, or on my left, sorry, this is our Telegram channel, all updates will be there. On the right is Instagram, where we post photos, I guess, and events, updates. Uh, okay, I'll give you some time to scan this. Okay, I think that's enough time. Um, let's move on. Uh, this is our oh, so this is our website. Um, when you go to this uh, web uh, this link, it redirects us to redirects you to our website. Yeah. So everything from event schedules, updates, will all be on our website as well. And yeah, if you want to like chat with us, you can email us at active at nushackers We we we'll always just reply you from there. Yeah, and that's it. So. Um, yeah, I'm done. So, hey. okay. um, we can take some questions if you guys have any. Okay, uh, the question is how do we join the. Okay, so how, I guess how do you apply for a call So the question is, how do you apply for Expo slash Quality? So Quality is our Expo. Uh, recruitment will start uh, week three, as I mentioned. So all it is is a Google form you fill up, and then afterwards we'll just uh, plan like a coffee chat with you. We can do it over lunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So all sign up links for like uh, Quality application will be Telegram. It's not yet out. But I just look out for it. Maybe the, uh, in the next week we'll publicize. Yep. Hi. Uh, okay. The question is, can we join as a member instead? Okay. So um, just to clarify, NS hackers do not have a membership concept. So everything that we organize is open for all. You don't have to be a member of NS hackers. You can just come in anytime you want. Anyone can just come in anytime you want. Only if you want to plan this event. Um, but yeah, then you can enjoy the party.
response for the mentorship program. So mentors, we have like a hundred over mentor sign up, right? And like four hundred plus uh, mentee sign up. So there's a lot of um, overwhelming responses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Any other questions? In the hack and roll, as you said, we can create anything. So it can include circuit boards as well. Yeah, for sure. So from software to hardware, anything goes. And we also provide like a hardware tool for you to rent or um, hardware. Any other any other questions? <coughs> yep. What's your favorite part of being in any conference? Mm, okay. Point. Okay. So for me, um, so last year I was actually part of the uh, Friday Hacks committee, so planning this as well for our previous person. <laughs> and I think the most rewarding and most exciting part is when those like big name speakers sort of uh, reply our emails and it's like very rewarding when they come down and give like a talk and see how so many people come down for it as well. So that has been like a great experience. Yeah. Uh, who was your favorite speaker? Um, definitely Evan Yu. Yeah. Because um, a little bit complex is that when I started a web dev, um, I started out with Vue.js. So to see like how like full circle, half the man himself come out for the talk, it's pretty special to me. Cat told spaces. Sorry? Cat told spaces. Oh, cat. Wait, are there any like spaces people here? Please. It's a cat to convert to a space. Alright, um. <laughs> okay. okay, let's not start any video. Cool. Wait, how wide are your cats? Sorry? How wide are your cats? How wide am I? How many spaces wide are your cats? My oh, my caps? Yeah. Oh, uh, this is pretty controversial, I think. My caps uh, space or size is two. Well, what was it? Oh, wait. I, I don't want it to be too wide, like too spread out, so I just said it like smaller. Yeah. 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 Wait, well, what was like your usual? Oh, wait, you have a question? Oh. <laughs> Any other question? That there's one controversial. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> yes. Um. Wait, uh, this is ready. Yes. Yes. Okay. So pizza's ready. Um. You guys can go and get a slice. All the pizzas are behind you. So. Ah uh, yes, I think that's a German pizza. Yeah. So. Good to see you guys come down and hope you guys will come for events uh, next week.